virtual game about real estate, fun facts, New Mexico, and a bit of randomness. But before we introduce our teams, John, tell us why we're here today. First of all, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. <laughs> the purpose of today's game is to learn a little bit about RPAC and to raise contributions. RPAC is NAR's advocacy team that fights for property rights and for real, real estate issues. So throughout the day, today's game, you will be able to go online at gar.com and make a contribution. Or you could just call GAR. Our operators are standing by. They sure are, John. So I want to introduce you to our players. We have team winning with Weikerts. <laughs> Playing for winning with Weikert today, we have Natalia Baran, <laughs> Renee Sanchez, Belinda Franco, and Seth Rockford. Our competing team is We're Just Guessing with Bridget Gilbert, Daniel Earhart, Helen Chan, and Jessica Garcia. All right, all right, guys. Now, don't get too, exci too excited yet because I have to tell you the rules. So, we're going to start with a player from each team. You're going to approach the front. I will read the question, and I will, pre I will read the question to you, and you're going to have the opportunity to answer. You're going to buzz in. If you answer correct, your team has the lead and has the opportunity to select the next question. But if you answer incorrect, your opponent gets a chance to answer. If neither team answers correct, then we'll rotate until we get it right because that's who we are. <laughs> Let's look at today's category. <laughs> Believe it or not. Quirky. <laughs> the advocate. Random. And that's, that's who we are. are. Let's get ready to rumble. I'll be over there, Kelly. All right, we'll see John in a little bit here, but I'd like to have contestants number one, Natalia and Jessica. All right, guys, make sure that I complete the question and you can converse with your team. So don't get too excited. All right. We're going to open up the game today with the advocate for 100. How many realtor associations are in New Mexico? Six. Natalia. Six. All right, is the answer six? We don't know. It is not. Ooh. Team ERA, what do you got? <laughs> We're just guessing. Seven. Seven. No. Ooh. All right. Take a seat. The answer is 19. All right. So, Renee and Helen, come on up. All right. So, since... We're still opening it up. Neither, neither team's on the board yet, no, but don't worry. Ready. You'll get there. I have, I have faith. The advocate for 200. What percentage of member contributions to our PAC stay in New Mexico? Team White. Okay. Is it 100%? Oh. It is not. <laughs> All right. We're just guessing. From ERA, what do you got? 75. Is it 75? Oh. No. <laughs> Y'all are killing me already. <laughs> 70%. All right, so close. Danielle Belinda. All right. <laughs> Let's do random for 100. What was the nickname for the MLS system before Flex? Belinda. It was Rapatoni. Rapatoni. But the nickname, I'm not sure. Tony Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard various things over here, so I'm not appropriate, but that's okay. Rapatoni, final answer. Okay. Is it Rapatoni, final answer? The nickname, no. The nickname, no. Was it Tony Baloney? <laughs> Danielle. Tony 
Tony Baloney. I'm stealing from the from the winning. Is it Tony Baloney? No. Oh. oh. Tony. Oh. But it is Crapatoni. Oh, that's hilarious. I would never oh. use that kind of language. <laughs> not du not dubbed by me. <laughs> All right. Bridget and Seth. Woo! Big money, big money. All right. That's who we are for 100. <laughs> who is the 2020 chairman of Rec Pack? John Set. Lucero. Okay, is it John Lucero? Mm. It is oh. not. Oh. But, uh, is it, was that, um, do you want to converse with your team? <laughs> what do we think? Quick. Paul Wilson. Okay. Is it Paul Wilson? Oh. Oh, I know oh. that. Oh. It is Damon Maddox. All right. John, what do you got for us? Wow, that was an exciting round. It was full of baloney because it's still zero to zero. <laughs> Anyways, so these teams are doing really great up there. I just want to talk a little bit about our pack and let you know that our pack, I want to remind you again that it is the advocacy team that fights for property rights and real estate issues. Now you're going to see a commercial from our major investors and they're going to talk about how important RPAC is to them. Can we talk? Can we just get real and talk? Imagine a world where you couldn't post a for sale sign in a client's yard. Or suppose your independent contractor status was jeopardized and you are required to punch a clock at your broker's office. Or what if Congress abolished the mortgage interest deduction? How would it affect your business? Look, they say avoid talking politics at parties, but these scenarios just might happen without the real tour party. The real tour party. It's not the Republican Party or the Democratic Party or even a gala. It's the advocacy arm of the Realtor organization that fights for you and your business. As a Realtor, you are on the front line helping Americans realize the dream of home ownership. You feel the pressure of onerous taxes, government overreach, and regulations that get it wrong. But you are not alone. Through the Realtor Party, we support candidates at home, in the state capitol, and in Washington, D.C., who understand your business needs. They champion our issues so more people can become homeowners. From protecting the mortgage interest deduction, to defeating unreasonable rental restrictions, to supporting balanced growth initiatives, the Realtor Party is there, and the Realtor Party is effective. But we can't do it alone. We need your help to vote, act, and invest in our pack. Vote, act, invest. Supporting the Real Tour Party is something we should all talk about, and frankly, something we should all do. No matter where you live, where you live has never mattered more. For over a hundred years, realtors have brought local knowledge and deep expertise to helping people find new places to dream and thrive. The next great place you'll call home. So whether you're upsizing, downsizing, or just ready to make a change, look for the R. Wow, that really was exciting. I hope you take the time to make a contribution now. Just go to gar.com or call gar. Our operators are standing by. Kelly, are you ready for another baloney round? I sure am. All right. Jessica and Natalia. All right. Don't get too excited. All right, we flipped a coin, we flipped a coin during our commercial break and our we're just guessing team won that coin toss and so you guys get to pick the next question quirky for a hundred quirky for 100 
Which airline crashed into the Sandia Mountains in the 1950s? We're just guessing. Is it TWA? Is it TWA? Woo! All right. All right. Renee, Helen. All right, we're just guessing. You have the lead and pick the question. Quirky for 200. We're going quirky for 200. <laughs> Name the tallest building in New Mexico. It's U.S. Eagle. Weikert. All right. Going with U.S. Eagle. It, it's downtown. Okay. Right? I have no idea. <laughs> it is not right. Okay. Well, what is it? I don't know. Let's find <laughs> out. <laughs> what is it? We're just guessing. The It's the building on San Mateo in Central, the old First National Bank. It's the building on San Mateo in Central. It is. No, it is not. The Albuquerque Plaza Office Tower was built in 1990 and stands 351 feet and 22 floors. So, for all of you out there who thought it was the building on San Mateo in Central, you now know. All right. Okay, so Weigert has taken over the control of the board. Um, we're gonna do, um, that's who we are for 600. Oh. All right. <laughs> Go big, that's who we are for 600. <laughs> Name one GAR Good Neighbor recipient for 2019. Lisa Godin. Okay, Weigert. <laughs> Lisa Godin. <laughs> All right. Lovey McGee, Steve Checo, Mick Burke, Lisa Godin, and Rosemary Freeland were all recipients of the Good Neighbor Award in 2019. All right, Weikert is still leading the board, Seth and Bridget. All right, all right. Weikert has control of the board, Seth. What's it gonna be? I'll do quirky for 300. Quirky for 300. Name the oldest restaurant in Albuquerque. Nobody eats out here. Bridget. All right. The La Hacienda in Old Town. Is it the La Hacienda in Old? It is not. La, La Pozuela in Old Town. Is it La Pozuela? Said by someone who doesn't speak Spanish. Oh, oh, the Pizza Dining Room in Old Town began it's serving in 1931. Uh -oh. Listen, it's a Spanish name that was pronounced. He was close. He was close enough. <laughs> All right. All right. So it was built. Began serving in 1931. The building was originally built in 1706, if you can believe that or not, and served as a fort, a refuge, a mercantile store, and where gentlemen's linen underwear could be purchased for a dollar. What a bargain. John, what do we have? Well, we're going to have to work with Seth on those New Mexican names. <laughs> NAR is one of the largest trade associations in the country, and Washington listens when we talk. We are 1.4 million realtors strong, and that makes us a force to be reckoned with at this local, state, and national levels. Now let's hear from our members. Why did you choose to become an RPAC investor? Because advocacy is important at local, federal, and state levels. I chose to become a major investor because I feel like it's really important to um, put your money where your mouth is. It continues to, uh, you know, put policy in place that continues to allow people to have property rights and that again directly affects the industry and uh, the future of our industry. There's always things that come up that we need to be uh, aware of and we need to fight for. Uh, one of them, for example, right now is going to be the fight against transfer taxes uh, as the government uh, is is giving out more and more money 
um, they need to replenish that money somehow and they're going to look to generate revenue and, and uh, transfer taxes is one thing that is on the table that we need to be aware of. It's important to our industry and our business. There's so much regulation that influences the way that we do business and the way that our buyers and sellers can purchase properties, sell properties. Being able to contribute to our pack and saying, hey, you know what, we have these concerns, somebody will hear our voice. As I started looking into it, I, I realized how important it is. So as a major investor, you invest $1,000 over a year. Uh, you don't have to be a major investor. All it takes is a $15 donation. And if you have a really great year or a really great transaction, give $50, give $100. It really could be as simple as $15. Your business ideas need room to run wild, but there's no room for error when you're raising the bar. A reliable partner can make a real difference. That's the role of a realtor, an irreplaceable expert who represents your values, a reassuring voice of reason helping you research and reach the right decisions so you can run your business without running the risk. Is your agent a realtor? Look for the R. You should see what's going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of hair pulling up going on. But I hope you take the time to donate to our pack. Kelly, are you ready? I'm ready, John. Jessica, Natalia, come on up. <laughs> All right. Winning with Weikert, you still have control of the board. Will you believe it or not for 100? Believe it or not. For 100, in what state is it a legal requirement for a seller to disclose if a property under inspection is believed to be haunted by ghosts? We're just guessing. Texas. Ugh. Oh. Weicher? Louisiana. Louisiana. Ugh. No. no. <laughs> New York. <laughs> New York City, right? All right, all right, Renee and Helen. All right, Helen. All right, Weikert, you are still in the lead. We will go 400, believe it or not. 400, believe it or not. How many items does the average US household have in it? Helen. What do you think? The average U.S. household? 1,700. 1,700. No. 500? 500. Minimalist Renee with 500. No. No. 300,000. Oh, my. 300,000. My mother-in-law would be happy right now. All right. All right, Weikert with control of the board. Uh, we're going to do that? quirky for 400. Quirky for 400. <laughs> Name the street that Albuquerque's largest home is located. We're just guessing. <coughs> Albuquerque's largest home. Where do you think that house is located? Quickly, guys. Carlisle. On Carlisle, is it? No. It is not. Weikert. We're going to say Rio Grande. Is it on Rio Grande? No. But it is on Altura Avenue Northeast. It is 13,425 square feet, nine bedrooms, eight and a half bathrooms, and resides on 0.6 acres. Is it haunted? It might be. We're, we're not allowed to <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seth and Bridget. <laughs> Bring it on up. All right. <clears throat> All right, Weikert. What do you got? I will do quirky for 500. Quirky for 500 it is. Route 66 was originally used to test the mode of transportation of what animal? Bridget. <laughs> mule. Was it a mule? 
It was not Weikert for the steal. Horses. Horses? <laughs> no, it was not. They didn't get that right. No, it was the camel. It's a camel because we have lots of camels in New Mexico. So what's the D? In 1857. Naval Lieutenant Edward Beale was directed to open a road from New Mexico to California as an experiment in transportation. He took his 25 camels, and although camels pr proved their worth, the army mule won out. Can we just All right, John. Well, I've, hey, listen, members, I've been to Kelly's house, and I believe there's over 300,000 items <laughs> in there. Anyways, I just want to let you know that our PAC is NER's advocacy team that supports candidates that build strong communities, protect property rights, and promote a vibrant business environment. So let's hear from more from our members. Who does our PAC support? Our PAC believes in policy, not politics, and that's why we are the Realtor Party. When I was Heather Wilson's federal political coordinator, she was a Republican and I was a Democrat. Doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican, Libertarian, doesn't matter where they're from, how they, how they feel about other issues necessarily. It's, it's about home ownership and it's about being a realtor champion. We want to be about uh, taking care of homeowners' rights. We don't listen to uh, one side or the other. We listen to both sides and we find out what's more important and what's going to benefit uh, realtors as well as homeowners. It's not about being from this side of the aisle or that side of the aisle. It's all about creating effective policy that's in everyone's best interests. We actually look at what the person uh, is doing in terms of promoting private property rights and home ownership and the like. We selectively choose um, issues that might affect home ownership, or, um, things like that might affect property taxes or um, small businesses being able to flourish in our state. Most policymakers understand this innately because they own their own home. Realtors are a part of their community. And so if, if a policymaker ha hasn't keyed in on that yet, We'll, we'll quickly remind them. There's three things that you can do. You can vote, you can act, and you can invest. Ready to own your first real home? The road to unrenting can get a bit rocky. It takes a reliable partner to right wrong turns. That's the role of a realtor an expert voice of reason helping you navigate the rigmarole of real estate, a trusted ally who knows and represents your rights, so you get all the right guidance on your journey home. Is your agent a realtor? Look for the R. Could you hold on a second? Sorry, Kelly, I was taking a contribution for our pack. Let's hit the next challenge. All right, thanks, John. And remember that invite I gave you to my house for dinner tonight? You're no longer invited. <laughs> all right, Jessica and Natalia. Get on your camels and come on over. Come on, guys. All right. All right. So, Weikert, you still have control of the board? That's what do you who got? we are for 300. That's who we are for 300. Name the 2020 NAR president. I'm sorry, I'll do it again. Name the 2020 <laughs> NAR president, Weikert. NAR, National Association of Realtors. Something Scully? Something Scully. <laughs> Something Scully. As in the X-Files. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we're just guessing. The NAR president is not the star of the X-Files, but who is he or she? What do we think? We don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> it is Ben Smalta, 2020 NAR president. Who also goes by Scully. Who also does not go by Scully, but maybe likes Malta balls. Who knows? All right, Renee and Helen. All right, 
Weikert, you're still in the lead with control of the board. Let's go random for 300, please. Random for 300. In 1940, which New Mexico restaurant began serving green chili cheeseburgers? I just finished the question. Who's going to buzz in? <laughs> Weikert. Lotterburger. Is it Lotterburger? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> what do you think? We're just guessing. What's your best guess? The Owl Cafe. Is it the Owl Cafe? Yes. It is the Owl Cafe. So we're just guessing takes control of the board. The Owl Cafe in San Antonio had scientists working on the Manhattan Project. Order burgers with green chili on the side. One day the dishwasher didn't show up to work. And since the bowls used to serve the green chili were dirty, they put the chi green chili on the burgers instead. That sounds marvelous. All right, so with control of the bar board, we're just guessing Danielle and Belinda. All right, all right, let's go. All right, all right. Okay. We're just guessing. What all do you right, got? believe it or not, for 600. Going big, believe it or not, for 600. In 2005, Kyle McDonald began a trade with what item that was eventually traded for a house? Danielle. <laughs> Bobby pin. Was it a bobby pin? It oh. was not. What is it? What is it? We'll say a dollar bill. Was it a dollar dollar bill, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> it was not, but it was a red paper clip. Oh. Wait a second. Now, who did not know it was a red paper clip? Oh. You were I close. I think that should count. You were close. <laughs> All right. That won't count? It's All right. Red paper clip? Oh my God. No fighting, y'all. No fighting. <laughs> Bridget <laughs> and <laughs> Seth. All right. Weikert, you actually are ahead of the game. Nobody got the question right, so <coughs> you get to pick the next question. Quirky for 600. Quirky for 600. Where was the headstone of Walter White of Breaking Brad originally located? We're just guessing, Bridget. <laughs> Quickly, what do we Sunset have? Memorial. Was it Sunset Memorial? <coughs> Indeed it is. <laughs> Sunset Memorial Park, but it had to be relocated to a strip mall because the site became a tourist attraction. John, are you going to go visit Walter? Uh, probably not. But I thought that was an interesting round to think that Danielle Earhart would negotiate bobby pins for a house. <laughs> RPAC is the only advocacy group in America that fights on behalf of 75 million homeowners and those who one day aspire to own their own home. We support the American dream. What are some of the things RPAC has accomplished and how do they benefit New Mexico realtors? All of us benefit from what RPAC does. And, and what RPAC does is needed by all of us. Just as recently as um, a policy for sick leave, that we all agree sick leave is a great thing. But what was also included in there were things that were really onerous on business owners. If it wasn't for our PAC getting involved with our political parties to go ahead and tell them that we need a cap with these uh, HOAs, I, I felt that that was one of the most important things. At the national level, some of the um, issues that our PAC has worked towards is continuing the flood insurance. Um, also, the tax credit for any interest paid on a, on a home mortgage. If it wasn't for RPAC hammering on the federal government to include independent contractors in the CARES Act, this pandemic would have been a lot, a lot worse for realtors. We need to have the membership understand just how very important this is and how it will affect them directly if our issues are not taken care of at either the federal or the state level. Here at GAR, we are the largest realtor association in the state of New Mexico, and we should continue to be the standard barrier and have 100% participation in RPAC. You can invest in RPAC for as little as $15 per year.
use that time to make my contribution to our pack. Did you? Let's now let's go back and see if we're just guessing can hold their lead. Kelly, back to you. Well, since we were on break, Danielle has since started negotiating a bobby pin for a house, so hit her up online if you'd like to make a trade. Jessica, Natalia. <laughs> Team winning with Weikert, and we're just guessing. We're just guessing from ERA currently has the lead and control of the board. So, we're just guessing. What's your next question? <clears throat> we're gonna take, believe it or not, for 500. Believe it or not, for 500. In what state can the monthly payment for homeowner's insurance equal a mortgage payment? Weikert. All right, time is running out. What do you think? California. Is it California? It is not for the steal. Is it New York? Is it New York? It is not. But it is Florida, the hottest and most miserably human place on earth. Florida. All right, Helen and Renee. All right, we're just guessing. You still have a slight lead on the board of the board with a thousand dollars or a thousand points. I am not giving you a thousand dollars. Yes, but you can contribute a thousand dollars to our pack. What is your next question? Uh, we are going to do random for 600. Random for 600. Okay. What does the acronym HELOC represent? <laughs> oh, I think Weikert got you just a little bit ahead here. It is home equity line of credit. Is it? Indeed it is, home equity line of credit. All right. Contact your local mortgage broker for a home equity line of credit. <laughs> okay, I know Belinda. I, that's why I thought I said that, but I said And <laughs> Danielle. So Weikert has the leaderboard here. What is your next question? We're gonna say the advocate for 600. The advocate for 600. What amount does a realtor need to contribute to become a major RPAC investor? <laughs> Belinda. $1,000. Is it $1,000? It is. $1,000 in a year. So when Danielle change, trades her bobby pin for a house, she can make her annual contribution. Bridget and Seth. All right. All right, the quick hand is going to get the question. All right, Weikert, you are in the lead and control of the board. Let's do random for 500. Random for 500. What was the first type of Girl Scout cookie sold? Okay. We're just guessing. I did it. We're just guessing. You have first chance. You well, rang in first. Yeah, you rang yeah. in first. Okay. All right, and the answer. Thin mint. Was it thin mints? We don't know. It was not <laughs> thin mints. What is the net? What? What do you? What's your guys' guess? Shortbread. Was it the shortbread cookies? No. Tag, no, the tag along was the peanut butter one. It was. A trifle. Oh, that is the shortbread cookie. I don't know. I just know that they've gotten smaller since 1933. <laughs> and more expensive. In 1933, the Girl Scouts of Greater Philadelphia Council own die in the shape of a trifle. All right. John, how about them Girl Scout cookies? Oh, yum. Hey, everyone. I just want you to remember that Belinda Franco is our 2021 GAR president. And Bridget Gilbert is our 2020 GAR vice president. Our pack is not so Thank you. Our pack is not focused on the right, left, or even the middle. It is focused on the issues that matter to existing and future homeowners and the real estate industry. So now, let's hear from more from our members.
If we want to be known as the community advocates, we need to put our money where our mouth is. And on that note, I'm going to tell you another way I win listings is with this very expensive piece of jewelry I have on. You will notice this is a Platinum R President Circle Hall of Fame pen. I can get you one too if you stroke enough checks because I put my money where my mouth is. Some of y'all don't participate in RPAC. Your excuses go from I don't like politics to I'm a Democrat. By the way, it's Realtor Party, not Republican Party, you silly, silly people. You say you don't want to read legislation. You don't understand it. You don't have the money. Now, I'm going to tell you something. All of that is a bunch of crap excuses because RPAC is an investment in your real estate business. It is insurance in our industry, and you need to all suck it up. Who in here, who in this room has insurance on their dog or cat? Raise your hand. What's that cost you, $1,000 a year? $800, $600, it's a whole bunch. It's a hell of a lot more than your RPAC fair share. So for shame on y'all, wasting money on Starbucks in the hallway when you will not even invest in the industry that allows you to be an entrepreneur making whatever you want to make out of it. Why should everybody participate? We, we hope everybody participates, and we know that's probably unlikely, but we share it. We share the risk. We spread the risk over a large number of people, and then it's a lot easier for all of us to swallow. So do your part. Don't make your neighbor do it for you. This is insurance for your the future of our industry, and it's an investment. It's so much more than um, just a one-time contribution. To continue to uh, have a voice in the process of creating policy that impacts home ownership, um, that's really the biggest goal for our PAC. The money that people invest in our PAC goes to a big pot of money, some of which, about 35, 30 to 35% goes to Washington, but the rest of it stays right here locally. You're investing uh, in the future of real estate and the way that you conduct your business and the way that your clients home ownership rights and private property rights are protected. If you can contribute 15 or $20 and you can up our participation from 24% to 40%, we're going to be real happy with that, but we'd be even happier with 80%. I'm Belinda Franco and I am the incoming GAR president for 2021 and I challenge all our members to become an investor in our PAC. A $15 donation makes you an investor and I challenge everybody to do that for 2021. Wow, that was terrific. If you become a major investor during this trivia challenge, I will personally guarantee you a spot in front of this camera so you can talk about our pack. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, John. All right, can we have Natalia and Jessica approach the podium? All right. Team Weikert bringing it home with the question about Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. For the record, I love Girl Scout cookies. If anyone wants to send any, send them to 1635 <laughs> University Boulevard Northeast. <laughs> Attention Kelly. Okay. <laughs> so with that, Weikert, you have control of the board. We'd like to do That's Who We Are for 400. That's Who We Are for 400. Name the 2020 president of Harnum. <laughs> We're just guessing. <laughs> Quickly, president of Carnal, Carnum, the Commercial Association. Clark? Guy Clark? Is it a guy named Clark? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Uh, Clay Azar. Is it Clay Azar? It is! And if you see Clay, tell him hello. He is the 2020 president of Carnum. All right, Renee and Helen. All right, Weikert is still in the lead with 2,800 points. What question would you like? We'll take random for 400. Random for 400. 
In Scotland, when a homeowner pays off their mortgage, what is the common custom? Weikert. To drink a beer. To drink a beer in Scotland. Mm. Is it? It is not. <laughs> to paint your door red. Is it to paint your door red? It is. So next time you're in Edinburgh, keep an eye out for homeowners who have reached that milestone and painted their door red. Stop in and have some haggis with them. And a beer. And a beer. <laughs> or, some scotch. or some scotch. Or some scotch, that's right. All right, so Weikert, we have Belinda. Who's guessing? We're just guessing. Somebody's guessing. <laughs> Danielle Weikert, you're in the lead. We're gonna do the advocate for 500. The advocate for 500. What does the acronym REC PAC stand for? Ooh, I think we're just guessing. Beat you slightly there. Now we're talking about REC PAC, not wrecking a PAC. <laughs> Quickly. What do we have? Just three more seconds. Quickly. Real Estate Committee Political Action Committee. Real Estate Committee so. Political Action Committee. No, that is not no. it. Ah, see, I was going with community as well. Real estate. Yeah, see, you get your good name. Yeah. Can we have a lifeline with John Lucero? <laughs> you cannot, <laughs> but you can try to answer yeah, the real question. Real estate, community, uh, you already said community, isn't it? Political action no. campaign. Real estate, community, political action command. I, oh, that was a good guess. It is real estate, community, political action committee. All right, Seth and Bridget. All right. All right, Weikert, you're in the lead, so you have control of the board. Random for 200. Random for 200. What was the original name of the Greater Albuquerque Association of Realtors? Ooh, I think Bridget got it first. But a close second by Weikert. All right, we're just guessing. Amber. Was it Amber? It was not. Okay. Albuquerque Bet or Metro Board of Realtors. Was it the Albuquerque Metro Board of Realtors? It was not. But it was the Albuquerque Real Estate Board. Oh. Keeping it simple there. All right, John, what are you doing? I'm standing here. Just looking at this screen and letting you know that we got our first major investor for the challenge. I want to thank Kent Cravens for his $1,000 contribution to our PAC. NAR is located steps away from the Capitol, where they advocate for federal policy initiatives that strengthen the ability of Americans to own, buy, and sell real estate. Now it's your time to donate $1,000 and become a major investor. It seems like every other day there is a political brouhaha going on, especially in a presidential election year. Well, the thing you have to know is that we have to support the Realtor Party no matter who is on the ticket. RPAC stands for the Realtor Political Action Committee, not the Republicans, not the Democrats. We are 5248, both sides of the aisle. And most of what we are working on is related to issues. We have been fighting for flood insurance reform. We've been fighting to protect Fannie and Freddie so that all homeowners don't have to do 20% down unless they choose to. Right now, we are fighting to keep the 1031 tax exchange intact because that is critical to our commercial health. Y'all, this is your industry. This is your insurance and protecting it from people on the local, state, and federal level that will pick your pockets as fast as they possibly can. In fact, politicians count on realtors being fractured and splintered because we're independent contractors. Instead, why don't you invest in our PAC today, be part of the solution, and if you want to make sure that the PAC says what you want them to say, volunteer on your governmental affairs committee and let us know what you think. 
because all realtors matter and private properties are one of the most important foundations of American life. I'm a major investor in RPAC because RPAC advocates for me and our industry. Over the years, I've contributed thousands to RPAC because they support candidates that understand home ownership issues, regardless of party affiliation. In the recent months, we have dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our PAC lobbyists have made sure that Homeland Security included realtors in their essential business list. Governors used that list to deem who was essential. So we were able to continue working. Our PAC made sure that realtors were included as independent contractors for PPP loans in both CARES relief packages. Investing in RPAC every year is included in my business plan because I know I get the best bang for my investment. RPAC is looking out for realtors all over the country every day and they get things done that matter to our industry. I'm dedicated to investing in RPAC and I won't stop giving because the American dream is worth fighting for. Hey everybody, I'm back, and I just want you to know that when you become a major investor, you get this snazzy jacket or a vest. So Kent, you'll be getting yours soon. Kelly, do I look good in this? John, you always look good. Uh, thanks. All right, so this is our final round. Natalia and Jessica. Let's go. All right, Weikert, you are in the lead with 3,300 points, and so I give you the next question. That's who we are for 500. That's who we are for 500. Who is the largest landowner in New Mexico? We're just guessing. We're gonna go with UNM. Is it UNM? It is not. Weikert for the steal. <laughs> you kind of sure? <laughs> Ted Turner. They're kind of sure it's Ted Turner. <laughs> and it is not. Oh. It is not Ted, it was Henry Singleton. So apparently no one knows who old Henry is. But he began buying ranches in New Mexico in the 1980s, and at the time of his death, he owned 1,200,000, I can't. He owned a lot of acres, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks, I once was a realtor and did math for a living. Okay, <laughs> Renee and Helen. All right, so Weikert is still in the lead. What is the next question? Uh, believe it or not, for 200. Believe it or not, for 200. Using, a prefab using prefabricated modules, what country can build a 15-story skyscraper in as little as 30 days? Ooh, Weikert. Slightly ahead of the game there. Is it Dubai? Is it Dubai? <laughs> it is not. China. Is it China? Oh. <laughs> All right. So in as little as 30 days, you can feel safe and secure in that prefabricated building. All right. So winning with Weikert, and we're just guessing. Winning with White. No. Who are you? Danielle, with we're just guessing. Do I pick? <laughs> you guys have the lead now because you got the question. Okay, the advocate for 400. The advocate for four. How many trustees are appointed to rec pack? We're just guessing. What is your guess? Seven. Is it seven? Mm. It is not. Weikert. Six. Is it six? It is not. How many is it? It is nine. Ooh, nine. Six are GAR members and three are members of Carnum. I was only thinking about oh. GAR members. Okay. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> Seth and Bridget. All right, Seth. All right. You got to finish strong. All right. Going to round us out. Oh. All right. We're just guessing you guys are still have control of the board. Believe it or not, for 300. 
Okay, believe it or not, for 300. What type of flood insurance is required for a VA loan in a property for a property in a flood zone? We're just guessing. <laughs> Does it flood in New Mexico? <laughs> and um, it is. It's um <laughs> It has to be a FEMA policy? I, yeah. Is it a FEMA Where's policy? Yeah. 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 FEMA yeah. insurance, yeah. which can be outrageously yeah. expensive, can affect a buyer's qualification for a mortgage. All right, John. Hey, Kelly, we got more great news. Our current president, Sherry Fowler, just became a major investor. Thank you for your $1,000 contribution. Your jacket's on the way. Oh yeah, and I promise them they get a spot right here behind the camera. Anyways, NAR advocates on behalf of realtors to foster a sound and dynamic US real estate market that creates vibrant communities in which to, do, to live and to work. Now a really important message from NAR. Hi, I'm Pete Koff, NAR's Realtor Party Director. And in this week's Pivot in Place series, we're gonna talk about the importance of getting out to vote this November. This year, it's going to be a challenge to vote. The pandemic has made it challenging in so many ways, but the opportunity to vote is not a challenge. The opportunity to vote is a privilege. It's never been more important to be an informed voter. We have to vote on the facts because the facts will help us put the right people in a place to build stronger communities. What's gonna be the most important thing for your family, for your friends, for your future and your business, that's who you vote for. That's the importance of being informed. There's so much information out there and we have the opportunity to not only encourage them to vote, but to help them feel comfortable voting safely. The key message when it comes to voter safety this year is truly to make a plan. The situation is so fluid that we need to be prepared to make sure we're ready to vote come election day. If voting in person is an option where you live, make sure you're following the CDC and state guidelines to ensure your safety. If you're gonna mail in your ballot, then make sure you're making a plan to do that as soon as possible because the November election is right around the corner. You know, Realtors are great leaders in their communities and we lead by example. We know the importance of being involved and that involvement creates better places to work, live and call home. Our Realtors get involved in so many things. Being involved in the election is a great way to be involved in our community, whether you're an election judge or a poll volunteer. This is a time to be engaged and if you feel comfortable doing so, it's another opportunity to show why Realtors are leaders, why they give back and why they feel obligated to continue to create strong communities throughout the country. As Realtors, I encourage all of you to get the message out throughout our community to our friends, our families, our loved ones. Stay healthy, be safe, and get out and vote. Our winning with Weikert team <laughs> took the lead with 3,300 points. So stay tuned. We'll be back 
at two o'clock for our second round of Realtor Trivia Challenge. Hey, John, what's going on? I want to congrat congratulate the winning team as well. And I want to thank We're Just Guessing for participating. Everyone who, who came today, it means a lot to us. Thank you. Now we're going to hear some commercials until the next round. teams for being here. Without you, this wouldn't work. Um, the purpose of today's game is to learn a little bit about RPAC and to make contributions. RPAC is NAR's advocacy team that fights for property rights and the real estate industry. Throughout the game, you will be able to go on GAR.com or call GAR and make your donations. Our operators are standing by. They sure are. So let's get rolling with round one and introduce our teams. To my left, we have the major investor team. They look like a competitive bunch over here. Leading the pack, we have Sherry Fowler, Tigo Venturi, Kathy Colvin, and Steve Anaya. And the competing team is the strangers. We have Don Wagstaff, Kent Cravens, Curtis and Glenn Swain. So let's get ready to rumble. Kelly, I'll be over there. All right, so let's review a few quick rules of the game. So we're going to start by having a player approach from each side. I will read the question. They will have a chance to buzz in and answer the question. Answer the question correct. <clears throat> I don't know. If you answer it correct, then good for you. <laughs> you answer it incorrect, the other team has a chance to steal and answer that question. But if both teams get that question wrong, then we'll just go again until we get it right because that's who we are. So let's take a look at today's categories. Believe it or not. Quirky. The Advocate. Random. And that's, that's who we are. are. All right, so if I can have Sherry and Glenn join us at the podium. 
All right. Before our event, we flipped a coin to decide who is going to get to open the board first. And with that, our strangers were the winners. And you get to pick first. Do I consult with them? Or if just you need to, it? or just pick from the board. We'll do random for 600. Random for 600. What is the approximate value of the White House? All right, I heard no buzz, but I heard somebody hit that buzzer. So, Team Strangers, what, is, what do you got? 150 million. Is it 150 million? It is oh. not. For the steel, major investors. 50 million. Is it 50 million? No, it is not. But it is 110 million. So if you've got some extra money lying around and want to buy the White House, 110 million is what it's going to take. All right. If I can have my next contestants join me, we have Tigo and Curtis. Hey, Curtis. All right. All right. Curtis, since your team started us off and we have nobody on the board yet, okay. next question is for you. Uh, believe it or not, for 400. Believe it or not, for four. Which actor's mansion sold for $2 million just after one day on the market? I don't know. What do you think? Do you want to converse with your teammates? Yeah. Do we have a guess? <laughs> uh, what's your name? It was not my house. So... <laughs> We don't have any of those. John, in Johnny Depp. Right? Was it Johnny Depp's house? <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Tigo. Um, Michael Jackson's. Was it Michael Jackson's? It was not. But it was George Burns' home, sold in 24 oh. hours. Uh. All right. <laughs> All right. So our next players, we have Don and Kathy. All right. All right, with nobody on the board yet, but our coin toss winner, the strangers, you still can pick. Let's go random for 500. Random for 500. What state has cut their homelessness by 74% by giving free homes to the homeless? Does anybody have a guess? Anybody? All right. Who's buzzing in? All right. Major investors. Washington. Is it the state of Washington? It is not. California. For the steel. Is it California? It is not. But it is Utah. Our neighbors in Utah. All right, Steve. Steve is ready to go. Kent is sleeping on the <laughs> over here. <laughs> All right. All right, so we've got Steve and Aya and Kent Cravens. Steve. All right. Motown. Motown. <laughs> Kent, your team still has control of the board. Which question would you like? I want to go the advocate for 600. The advocate for six. How many years ago did NAR establish the Fair Housing Act? Major investors. 1968. How many years ago? Okay. Yeah, that was Yay! 52 years in 1968. So, major investor team, thank you for not having to make me do the math. In 1968 uh, was the answer. John, did you know that? No, I didn't. But just think, for $110 million, you could purchase the White House and I can negotiate the transaction. NAR is one of the largest trade associations in the country, and Washington listens when we talk. We are 1.4 million realtors strong, and that make us, makes us a force to be reckoned with at the local, state, and national levels. We're starting this next round off on a great positive note. Tigo Venturi has now become a major investor. 
Thank you, Tigo. Now let's hear from some of our members. Can we talk? Can we just get real and talk? Imagine a world where you couldn't post a for sale sign in a client's yard. Or suppose your independent contractor status was jeopardized and you are required to punch a clock at your broker's office. Or what if Congress abolished the mortgage interest deduction? How would it affect your business? Look, they say avoid talking politics at parties, but these scenarios just might happen without the Realtor Party. The Realtor Party. It's not the Republican Party or the Democratic Party or even a gala. It's the advocacy arm of the Realtor organization that fights for you and your business. As a Realtor, you are on the front line helping Americans realize the dream of home ownership. You feel the pressure of onerous taxes, government overreach, and regulations that get it wrong. But you are not alone. Through the Realtor Party, we support candidates at home, in the state capitol, and in Washington, D.C., who understand your business needs. They champion our issues so more people can become homeowners. From protecting the mortgage interest deduction, to defeating unreasonable rental restrictions, to supporting balanced growth initiatives, the Realtor Party is there, and the Realtor Party is effective. But we can't do it alone. We need your help to vote, act, and invest in our PAC. Vote, act, invest. Supporting the Realtor Party is something we should all talk about. And frankly, something we should all do. No matter where you live, where you live has never mattered more. For over a hundred years, Realtors have brought local knowledge and deep expertise to helping people find new places to dream and thrive. The next great place you'll call home. So whether you're upsizing, downsizing, or just ready to make a change, look for the R. So far, we have three major investors, Kent Cravens, Yay! Sherry Fowler, and Tigo Venturi. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. Kelly, do you have a heart? No. For you, John, I always have a heart. <laughs> a little one. <laughs> All right, Sherry and Glenn. All right, so our major investors team, thanks to Steve, is on the board with $600, our points. Sherry, lead us off. We're gonna do who we are for 600. Who we are, that's who we are for 600. Name the realtor awarded the Doyle Pargin Lifetime Achievement Award in 2019. Oh. Cherry. Kathy Colvin. Was it Kathy Colvin? <laughs> it was not in 2019. Yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, strangers, Kathy what's your guess? We have another guess of <laughs> Kathy Colvin. <laughs> Kathy is here saying she won the award. We'll split it. Split the difference. John Lowinger. All right. We had to just remind Kathy that she won 2018, and 2019 was John Lowinger. Kathy, it is 2020. <laughs> All right, so major investors and our strangers. All right, we've got Curtis and Tigo up here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and defer to major investors. Since you had the first Kathy Colvin. <laughs> <laughs> and she deserved it. What do you got? Um, we're going to go. Um, Quirky for 600. Quirky for 600. What year did the unidentified flying object crash into the desert near Roswell? Ooh, with the slide in there, major investors. 47, that's what I think it's, 1947. Was it 1947? Yeah. It was! All right, so in 1947 was the answer to that question. 
John and Kathy. All right, so major investors had the answer correct to our last question there. Kathy, you have control of the board. That's who we are for 500. That's who we are for 500. What month is NAR's Realtor Safety Month? Major investors. September. Is it September? It oh, is. Yay! Realtor Safety Month is in September, which happens to be next week, if you were curious. All right. So we've got Steve against Kent. Steve's team, Major Investors, has the lead. What is your next question? Uh, let's do uh, Quirky for 500. Quirky for 500. <laughs> Name the New Mexico goat sucker monster who drinks the blood of livestock and leaves puncture wounds in the animal's neck. <laughs> it is not John Lucero. No, Ooh, strangers. Chupacabra. Is it the Chupacabra? It is. All right. Strangers are on the board. All right, John, have you ever seen a chupacabra? How dare you, Kelly, to say that I'm a chupacabra. I'm actually the chair of the Property Crime Committee. And in September, we're going to put out some guidelines for Realtor Safety Month. Our PAC is NAR's advocacy team that supports candidates that build strong communities, protect property rights, and promote a vibrant business environment. So why don't we listen to more of our members? Why did you choose to become an RPAC investor? Because advocacy is important at local, federal, and state levels. I chose to become a major investor because I feel like it's really important to um, put your money where your mouth is. It continues to, uh, you know, put policy in place that continues to allow people to have property rights and that again directly affects the industry and uh, the future of our industry. There's always things that come up that we need to be uh, aware of and we need to fight for. Uh, one of them, for example, right now is going to be the fight against transfer taxes. Uh, as the government uh, is is giving out more and more money, um, they need to replenish that money somehow and they're going to look to generate revenue and, and uh, transfer taxes is one thing that is on the table that we need to be aware of. It's important to our industry and our business. There's so much regulation that influences the way that we do business and the way that our buyers and sellers can purchase properties, sell properties. Being able to contribute to our pack and saying, hey, you know what? we have these concerns, somebody will hear our voice. As I started looking into it, I, I realized how important it is. So as a major investor, you invest $1,000 over a year. Uh, you don't have to be a major investor. All it takes is a $15 donation. And if you have a really great year or a really great transaction, give $50, give $100. It really could be as simple as $15. Your business ideas need room to run wild, but there's no room for error when you're raising the bar. A reliable partner can make a real difference. That's the role of a realtor, an irreplaceable expert who represents your values, a reassuring voice of reason helping you research and reach the right decisions, so you can run your business without running the risk. Is your agent a realtor? Look for the R. Don't forget, you can go on gar.com to make your RPAC contribution. But if you really feel like it, you can get in your car, drive down here and say, hi, John Lucero, and you can purchase this realtor mask for $20. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, John. All right, so we have the major investor team Yay! on the board with 1,700 and our stranger team on the board with 500. All right, we have Sherry and Glenn ready to compete next. Major investors, you are in the lead and have control of the board. We're gonna do Believe It or Not for 600. All right, Believe It or Not for 600. Name the private golf course owned by Remax owners Dave and Gail Linger. Sherry. What do we 
we think, major investors? Tanawan. Is it Tanawan? Yeah. It is not. Glenn, what do we got? Uh, Paco? Is it Paco? It is not. So what is it? Sanctuary in Colorado. Legend has it that this exclusive course was born from a dispute between the Dave and Castle Pines over the treatment of him and his guests. The relationship came to a head, prompting Linger to build his own course next door, which looks upon, a ca upon Castle Pines throughout the layout. All right. So nobody in this room golfs, apparently. All right, Tigo and Curtis. All right. Major investors are still on the board with 1,700, but the strangers are catching up. They've got 500 points. Curtis is going to bring it home for them. Major investors, Am I your pick. Yep, OK, advocate 500. Advocate for 500. On what date will the National Flood Insurance Program expire? Oh, Tigo with fast hands. Curtis gets first shot here. You want to converse with your team? Quickly, what do we got? <laughs> December 31st, 2050. Is it December 31st, 2050? Mm. It is not, Tigo. <laughs> September 30th. September 30th of this year. Oh. So another thing we have to look forward Yay! to in 2020. Yay! All right, unless Congress Woo! intervenes before. <laughs> Kathy, you're up. And Don. <laughs> All right, major yeah. investors, you guys are in the lead, Kathy. You get to choose the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, believe it or not, for 500. Believe it or not, for 500. And what what state boasts the first house with running water? Kathy. Major investors. Virginia. Is it Virginia? It is not Virginia. Don mm. and strangers for the steal. South Carolina. Is it South Carolina? No, it is not. All right, but it is Rhode Island. In 1723, it was equipped with an underground pipe from a nearby spring. Thank goodness for indoor plumbing and John Headley's home in Newport, Rhode Island. All right, so we have Steve Anaya from the Major Investors and Kent Craven. All right, Major Investors still have the lead. Uh, advocate for 400. The advocate for 400. Who are the members of the Realtor Party? Oh, Steve was quick there. Any person that contributes to the uh, uh, to our pack is it any person that makes a contribution to any our real, pack? Yeah. It is not anybody that makes a contribution of fifteen dollars or more to our pack. Is it fifteen dollars or more? It is not. So it is apparently realtor and realtor associations. All right. All right, John, hey. what's going on? Thanks, Kelly. Because the flood insurance program is going to expire on September 30th, 2020, we're going to have a call to action. And we need you. We're strong together. So when we put out our call to action, please help us. Our PAC is the only advocacy group in America that fights on behalf of 75 million homeowners and those who one day aspire to own their own home. We support the American dream. Gabe? Who does our PAC support? Our PAC believes in policy, not politics, and that's why we are the Realtor Party. When I was Heather Wilson's federal political coordinator, she was a Republican and I was a Democrat. 
doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican, Libertarian, doesn't matter where they're from, how they, how they feel about other issues necessarily. It's, it's about home ownership and it's about being a realtor champion. We want to be about uh, taking care of homeowners' rights. We don't listen to uh, one side or the other. We listen to both sides and we find out what's more important and what's going to benefit uh, realtors as well as homeowners. It's not about being from this side of the aisle or that side of the aisle. It's all about creating effective policy that's in everyone's best interests. We actually look at what the person uh, is doing in terms of promoting private property rights and home ownership and the like. We selectively choose um, issues that might affect home ownership, or, um, things like that might affect property taxes or um, small businesses being able to flourish in our state. Most policymakers understand this innately because they own their own home. Realtors are a part of their community. And so if, if a policymaker ha hasn't keyed in on that yet, we'll, we'll quickly remind them. There's three things that you can do. You can vote, you can act, and you can invest. Ready to own your first real home? The road to unrenting can get a bit rocky. It takes a reliable partner to right wrong turns. That's the role of a realtor, an expert voice of reason helping you navigate the rigmarole of real estate, a trusted ally who knows and represents your rights, so you get all the right guidance on your journey home. Is your agent a realtor? Look for the R. Hey, Kelly, we have another major investor. Who is it, John? It's Belinda Franco, our 2021 Star President. Thank you, Belinda. We appreciate your contribution. That's terrific, right, Kelly? That's awesome. Thanks, B, Linda. All right, Glenn and Sherry. Go, Sherry! Go, Sherry! All right, so we have Sherry Fowler and Glenn up and ready to go. All right, our major investors are still in the lead with 2,200 points. So what is your next question? We're going to go, that's who we are for 400. That's who we are for 400. What famous building was originally built with extra bathrooms to accommodate racial segregation laws? Major investors. Just a few more seconds. What do you think? What famous building was originally built with extra bathrooms to accommodate racial segregation? The U.S. Capitol. Was it the U.S. Capitol? It was not. The White House. Was it the White House? No. Close, but no cigar. It was the Pentagon. All right, so Tigo <laughs> and Curtis. It was close. It was in the neighborhood. It was just close, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One Virginia, though, right? All right. Major investors still have control of the board. Um, let's go random for 400. Random for 400. What U.S. hotel has the most fountains in the world? Major investors. The Bellagio. Is it the Bellagio? It is the Bellagio. Yay! In Vegas, has more than 1,000 fountains embellishing an 11-acre artificial lake. Can I get on their side, team? <laughs> Curtis wants to join your team, he said. He's abandoning You're welcome, the strangers. Curtis. You can come with us. <laughs> All right, we've got Don and Kathy. Okay, Don. All right, Kathy. Um... That's who we are for 300, please. Okay, that's who we are for three. What does the CRB designation stand for? Kathy, too fast. So, oh. John. Certified residential broker. Is it certified residential broker? It is. Yay. Certified real estate broker manager. All right. So, strangers are slowly catching up here. We have Steve and Kent Craven. Strangers, you have control of the board. Kent? 
Oh boy, let's go with uh, Quirky for 400, please. We're going with Quirky for 400. What Santa Fe restaurant claims to have made the first breakfast burrito in 75? Major investors. You guys have any ideas? What do we think? What do you think? Any ideas? Uh, Tia Sophia's. Yes. Is it Tia Sophia's? Yes. Yes. So next time you are in Santa Fe, check out one of their breakfast burritos. All right, John, have you had a breakfast burrito from Tia Sophia's? I haven't, but I want to say that was a great round. And Kathy Colvin sure knows how to rub it in when it's a slaughter happens. Our pack is not focused on the le right, left, or even in the middle. It is focused on the issues that matter to existing and future homeowners and the real estate industry. Now let's hear from more of our members. What are some of the things RPAC has accomplished and how do they benefit New Mexico realtors? All of us benefit from what RPAC does. And, and what RPAC does is needed by all of us. Just as recently as um, a policy for sick leave that we all agree sick leave is a great thing but what was also included in there were things that were really onerous on business owners. If it wasn't for our PAC getting involved with our political parties to go ahead and tell them that we need a cap with these uh, HOAs I, I felt that that was one of the most important things. At the national level some of the um, issues that our PAC has worked towards is continuing the flood insurance um, also, the tax credit for any interest paid on a, on a home mortgage. If it wasn't for RPAC hammering on the federal government to include independent contractors in the CARES Act, this pandemic would have been a lot, a lot worse for realtors. We need to have the membership understand just how very important this is and how it will affect them directly if our issues are not taken care of at either the federal or the state level. Here at GAR, we are the largest realtor association in the state of New Mexico, and we should continue to be the standard barrier and have 100% participation in our PAC. You can invest in our PAC for as little as $15 per year. You can contribute $20, $50, $100, or you could become a major investor for $1,000. Kelly, have you made your contribution yet? I sure have, John. Thanks for asking. All right, Sherry and Glenn, you're up next. Something science. Oh. All right. So our Team Strangers was talking about boycotting for more points on break, but don't worry, you still have time to catch up. Glenn's going to bring it home for you guys. No pressure. <laughs> All right. Uh, we left off with major investors uh, leading us off, and so, Sherry. So we are going to go with Quirky for 300 and catch Weikert. Quirky for 300. Name the weeping woman known as Restless Soul to wander the New Mexico rivers and arroyos. Oh, Sherry. I was waiting for you to finish. La Yaona. Oh. Is it La Yorona? say it right. Yay! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bringing out my best Spanish speaking skills, it is La Yorona. All right, 
right, we have Tigo and Curtis up next. All right, major investors, you're um, on the board with 3,300 points. Wow. Advocate, 300. The advocate for 300. How many states have not ratified the Equal Rights Amendment? Tigo. Zero. Is it zero? Mm, it is really? not. Really? Is this, huh? is this 2020? Seven. Uh, all right, is it seven? It is not. So the answer is 12. An additional five had rescinded their vote to ratify it. If you subtract five, yeah, okay. No, it's 17. <laughs> 17. All right. Wow. It this is, is new math. Kathy. <laughs> doing a little common core math here. Okay. <laughs> we have Kathy and John. Major investors have the lead. Um, random for 300, please. Hmm. Random for 300. What game was originally designed to teach players about broken nature, the broken nature of capitalism? Kathy. Yeah. Monopoly. Final answer. Monopoly. It is Yay! Monopoly. All right. We've got Steve coming up from the major investors and Kent with our strangers team. Strangers. All Stranger right. Things. Major investors. So let's go, uh, uh, believe it or not, for 300. Believe it or not, for three. What acclaimed house built of stone, concrete, and glass was built over a waterfall? Steve. <laughs> Falling water, uh, Franklin Lloyd Wright. Falling water, Frank Lloyd Wright. And that house happens to be located in Pennsylvania, in case any of our watchers are wondering. John, hey, what Kelly. about you? <laughs> NAR is located steps away from the Capitol, where they advocate for federal policy initiatives that strengthen the ability of the Americans to own, buy and sell real estate. Hey, Kelly, have you ever heard of Lee Brown? I sure have. She's the only person that has as much energy as me. So now let's listen to her. If we want to be known as the community advocates, we need to put our money where our mouth is. And on that note, I'm going to tell you another way I win listings is with this very expensive piece of jewelry I have on. You will notice this is a Platinum R President Circle Hall of Fame pen. I can get you one too if you stroke enough checks because I put my money where my mouth is. Some of y'all don't participate in RPAC. Your excuses go from, I don't like politics, to I'm a Democrat. By the way, it's Realtor Party, not Republican Party, you silly, silly people. You say you don't want to read legislation. You don't understand it. You don't have the money. Now, I'm going to tell you something. All of that is a bunch of crap excuses because RPAC is an investment in your real estate business. It is insurance in our industry, and you need to all suck it up. Who in here, who in this room has insurance on their dog or cat? Raise your hand. What's that cost you, $1,000 a year? $800, $600, it's a whole bunch. It's a hell of a lot more than your RPAC fair share. So for shame on y'all wasting money on Starbucks in the hallway when you will not even invest in the industry that allows you to be an entrepreneur making whatever you want to make out of it. Why should everybody participate? We, we hope everybody participates, and we know that's probably unlikely, but we share it. We share the risk. We spread the risk over a large number of people, and then it's a lot easier for all of us to swallow. So do your part. Don't make your neighbor do it for you. This is insurance for your the future of our industry, and it's an investment. It's so much more than um, just a one-time contribution. To continue to uh, have a voice in the process of creating policy that impacts home ownership. Um, that's really the biggest goal for RPAC. 
The money that people invest in our PAC goes to a big pot of money, some of which, about 35, 30 to 35% goes to Washington, but the rest of it stays right here locally. You're investing uh, in the future of real estate and the way that you conduct your business and the way that your clients' home ownership rights and private property rights are protected. If you can contribute 15 or $20 and you can up our participation from 24% to 40%, we're going to be real happy with that, but we'd be even happier with 80%. I'm Belinda Franco, and I am the incoming GAR president for 2021, and I challenge all our members to become an investor in our PAC. A $15 donation makes you an investor, and I challenge everybody to do that for 2021. Lee Brown is so inspiring and she contributes to our pack. Hey Kelly, if we have another major investor, will you do a somersault on stage? I sure will, John. All right. I'm sure everyone will want to see that. <laughs> All right, so if anybody from Team Weikert is watching, I just want to let you know that the major investors have just surpassed your score at 3,900 points. So, with that, I'm going to have Sherry Fowler and Glenn join us at the podium. All right, major investors, lead us off with the next question. We'll take that's who we are for 200. That's who we are for 200. What famous real estate magnet left 12 million in her will to her dog? Ooh, I think Glenn gotcha. Gloria Vanderbilt. Was it Gloria oh. Vanderbilt? Oh. It was not. Leona Helmsley. Oh. Was it Leona Helmsley? It sure was. Oh. Leona must have had a bulldog. All right, Tigo and Curtis, join us at the podium. All right, major investors. Here. Let's go. Um, let's go random for two hundred. Random for two hundred. In what real estate market is more than 90% of home sales made in cash transactions? Tigo. Um, Beverly Hills. Is it Beverly Hills? It is not. Curtis for Florida. the steal. Is it Florida? It is Palm Beach, Florida to be exact. Homes range from 2,000 square foot condos to 56,000 square foot homes. Kathy and Don. All right, so Don, your team has the board. Which question would you like? Uh, believe it or not for 200. Believe it or not for 200. Name the animal that has fingerprints. Kathy. A monkey. Is it a monkey? It is not, Don. Humans. Is it humans? It is not. The answer is John Lucero. I'm just kidding. It's actually a koala bear, which actually is not a bear. It is a marsupial. All right, Steve and Kent. Here we go. On the board. All right, stranger team. Oh, here we go. Let's go advocate for 200, please. The advocate for 200. What percentage of realtors volunteer in their community? Oh, I think Kent beat you on that one, Steve. Think so? Yeah. Maybe go back. Forty percent. Is it forty percent? It is not. Steve and team major investor for the steal. Oh. Fifty percent. Is it fifty percent? It is not. It is 70%. Wow. Wow. Congratulations, Realtors. Congratulations. John, did you know seven out of 10 Realtors volunteer in their community? No, I didn't, but that's terrific. NAR advocates on behalf of Realtors to foster a sound and dynamic U.S. real estate market that creates vibrant communities 
in which to live and work. Hey, Kelly, you want to hear the next commercial? Sure, John, let's hear it. It seems like every other day there is a political brouhaha going on, especially in a presidential election year. Well, the thing you have to know is that we have to support the Realtor Party no matter who is on the ticket. Our PAC stands for the Realtor Political Action Committee, not the Republicans, not the Democrats. We are 5248, both sides of the aisle. And most of what we are working on is related to issues. We have been fighting for flood insurance reform. We've been fighting to protect Fannie and Freddie so that all homeowners don't have to do 20% down unless they choose to. Right now, we are fighting to keep the 1031 tax exchange intact because that is critical to our commercial health. Y'all, this is your industry. This is your insurance and protecting it from people on the local, state, and federal level that will pick your pockets as fast as they possibly can. In fact, politicians count on realtors being fractured and splintered because we're independent contractors. Instead, why don't you invest in our PAC today, be part of the solution, and if you want to make sure that the PAC says what you want them to say, volunteer on your governmental affairs committee and let us know what you think because all realtors matter and private properties are one of the most important foundations of American life. I'm a major investor in RPAC because RPAC advocates for me and our industry. Over the years, I've contributed thousands to RPAC because they support candidates that understand home ownership issues, regardless of party affiliation. In the recent months we have dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic, RPAC lobbyists have made sure that Homeland Security included realtors in their essential business list. Governors used that list to deem who was essential. So we were able to continue working. RPAC made sure that realtors were included as independent contractors for PPP loans in both CARES relief packages. Investing in RPAC every year is included in my business plan because I know I get the best bang for my investment. RPAC is looking out for realtors all over the country every day and they get things done that matter to our industry. I'm dedicated to investing in RPAC and I won't stop giving because the American dream is worth fighting for. I want to thank again Kent Craven, Sherry Fowler, Tigo Venturi, and Belinda Franco for being our latest major investors. <laughs> Hey, Kelly, have you ever hung out with a chupacabra? What do you know? I have one in my backyard. Glenn, Sherry, join us at the podium. All right, we have the stranger team who is leading us with a thousand points, but major investors ahead of the game here with 4,100 points. Strangers, you guys left off, I believe, with control of the leaderboard. Let's hear it. Uh, quirky for 200. Quirky for 200. <coughs> Where did Smokey the Bear originate in New Mexico? Sherry. Lincoln County, New Mexico. Was it Lincoln County, New Mexico? We don't know. Oh, wait, we do know. It was the Capitan Mountains. Lincoln National Forest. The Lincoln National Forest. Okay. In Lincoln County. Which is in Lincoln County. <laughs> we'll fight it out after the round is over out in the hallway. <laughs> All right. Tigo and Curtis. Jump the gum. <laughs> you knew it. All right. <laughs> Kathy's ready to contest the points here, but that's all right. We're going to just keep going. Major investors. Uh, let's go quirky. Quirky for 100. What does NRDS stand for? Tigo. stands for your nerds number. All right, it is the number you get when you are a nerd. Is that mm, correct? Yes. It is not. Curtis. National Realtor uh, Data System. 
National Realtor Data System, oh. database system. All right. Curtis. All right. Don and Kathy. Never been called a nerd. <laughs> I have. All right. Strangers and Don, you have control of the board. Uh, let's do Believe It or Not for a hundred. Believe It or Not for a hundred. What building was so expensive that it wasn't paid off until 15 years after it was demolished? <laughs> what do we think? Who's going to chime in first? Will it be strangers or the major investors? Who knows the answer? Don. <laughs> strangers, what do we got? And the answer is? Cape Canaveral building. It is not. <laughs> All right, Kathy, for the steal. We think it's some Olympic thing, but we're not sure. Is it some Olympic thing? <laughs> it is not, but it is the Seattle Kingdom. Ooh. Oh. Burn it down. Don't which I have no <laughs> idea what that is. All right, so Steve and Ken. No, Steve! Rounding us off with our last question for the day. All right, strangers, what do you got? We'll try the advocate for 100. The advocate for 100. What is the website address for the National Association of Realtors? Kent. I think I hit it too soon, to be fair. Steve. NAR.realtor. Is it NAR.realtor? Yeah. All right, John, how often do you visit the NAR.realtor site? Every day. That's where I get my RPAC stuff. Anyways, the purpose of RPAC is clear. Voluntary contributions made by realtors are used to help elect candidates who understand and support our interests. Now let's hear from more of our members. Hi, I'm Pete Koff, NAR's Realtor Party Director. And in this week's Pivot in Place series, we're gonna talk about the importance of getting out to vote this November. This year, it's going to be a challenge to vote. The pandemic has made it challenging in so many ways, but the opportunity to vote is not a challenge. The opportunity to vote is a privilege. It's never been more important to be an informed voter. We have to vote on the facts because the facts will help us put the right people in a place to build stronger communities. What's gonna be the most important thing for your family, for your friends, for your future and your business, that's who you vote for. That's the importance of being informed. There's so much information out there and we have the opportunity to not only encourage them to vote, but to help them feel comfortable voting safely. The key message when it comes to voter safety this year is truly to make a plan. The situation is so fluid that we need to be prepared to make sure we're ready to vote come election day. If voting in person is an option where you live, make sure you're following the CDC and state guidelines to ensure your safety. If you're gonna mail in your ballot, then make sure you're making a plan to do that as soon as possible because the November election is right around the corner. You know, Realtors are great leaders in their communities and we lead by example. We know the importance of being involved and that involvement creates better places to work, live and call home. Our Realtors get involved in so many things. Being involved in the election is a great way to be involved in our community, whether you're an election judge or a poll volunteer. This is a time to be engaged, and if you feel comfortable doing so, it's another opportunity to show why Realtors are leaders, why they give back, and why they feel obligated to continue to create strong communities throughout the country. As Realtors, I encourage all of you to get the message out throughout our community to our friends, our families, our loved ones, Stay healthy, be safe, and get out and vote. Hey everyone, 
All right, Team Weikert, if you're watching, major investors beat you. They are at 4,300 points. So our major investor team is going to be watching out because coming up at 3 o'clock, we've got two more teams competing to be in the lead as the Realtor Trivia Challenge winner. Hey, John. Yeah, Kelly. I just want to say congratulations again to Team Major Investors. And I challenge every one of you to go on GAR.com or just call GAR and make your RPAC contribution today. Next time I'm on a team, I'm going to have Kathy Colvin on my team because she knows how to cheer. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's do some more commercials. our teams for being here today. Your contribution makes mean so much to us. Our PAC is NAR's advocacy team that works to protect private property rights and the real estate industry. Throughout today's game, you will have the opportunity to donate online at gar.com or you can just call gar. Our operators are standing by. They sure are. So now let's get rolling and let's introduce our teams. We have Team YPN Young Professionals Network, <laughs> Josh Price, <laughs> Kevin Mullaney, Anika Nunez, and Gavin Malm. And our competing team is the Gray Gapsters. <laughs> we, have, right. we have Chip Olson, Eric Heinrich, Keith Powell, and Gene Duran. <laughs> All right, Jean brought her cane and she's ready to take the YPN group down. But before we do, Jean, I have to set some rules for you and everyone else. So each, a member from each team is going to step up to the podium and have a chance to answer the question. But I have to read the complete question first. First person to push the buzzer gets a chance to answer. Answer correctly. And your team gets to select next. But if you don't answer correctly, then the opposing team gets the chance to answer the question. If neither team answers correctly, then we just rotate and do it again because that's who we are. So let's review today's categories. Believe it or not. Quirky. The Advocate. Random. And that's, that's who, we who we are. Let's get ready to rumble. Kelly, I'll be over there. All right, you go to your corner, John. And let's bring up our first two contestants. We have Chip Olson from the Great Gapsters and the Young Professionals Network being represented by Josh Price. Come on, Josh. All right. Yeah. Oh, all the way, Chip. All right. Good job. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to open it up with the advocate for 100. How many members are in the U.S. Senate? Oh. Don't all ring in at once now. <laughs> Josh. 100? Is it 100? Whoa, all right. Woo! YPN is now on the board with 100 <laughs> points. 
Chip with a close second there, almost chiming in. Two All right, if I can have contestants number one take their seats, we'll be back to visit you shortly. All right, so Kevin and Eric. So Team YPN, since you are on the board now with 100 points, you guys get to select the next question. Um, believe it or not, for 100, please. Believe it or not, for 100. What U.S. company, better known for its consumer product, owns $30 billion in real estate? What do we think? Team Gap. Berkshire Hathaway. Is it Berkshire Hathaway? <laughs> it is not. Apple. Is it Apple? It is not. <laughs> but the answer is oh. McDonald's, the place everyone oh, eats, but no one wants to admit that they do. All right, so Anika and Keith. I hope you're ready. Keith rides his bike Ke at least once a week. So Kelly, I are ready. All right. <laughs> so Team YPN. Um, the Advocate for 200. The Advocate for 200. Name the 2020 president of Enmar. James Russ? Is it James Russ? Yeah. It is okay. James <laughs> Russ. Good job, Gap. Don't forget, teammates, you can converse with each other to get the answers. All right, take your seats. All right, we've got Gene and Gavin. Gavin, I'd watch out. I see you, Gene. Gene. <laughs> All right. Team Gap, what do you got? Oh, okay, we'll do the advocate for 500. The advocate for five. Get her, Gavin, get her. Name the NAR Consumer Education Program. Gene. C2EX. Is it C2EX? <laughs> it is not. Gavin and Team YPN for the steal. What do we got? Is it the hub? Is it the hub? It is not. What is the answer? What the hell is it? Home ownership matters. Used by millions of homeowners to take action on policies that impact them. Current campaigns, count yourself in for the 2020 census and tell Congress about something. But my screen went away, so I don't know what it is. But John, he may know. Why don't you tell us? I don't know, Kelly. Are you avoiding Gene Duran's cane? Because I would be. NAR is one of the largest trade associations in the country and Washington listens when we talk. We are 1.4 million realtors strong, and that makes us a force to be reckoned with at the local, state, and national levels. Now you make a contribution to our pack. Let's listen to this commercial. Can we talk? Can we just get real and talk? Imagine a world where you couldn't post a for sale sign in a client's yard. Or suppose your independent contractor status was jeopardized and you are required to punch a clock at your broker's office. Or what if Congress abolished the mortgage interest deduction? How would it affect your business? Look, they say avoid talking politics at parties, but these scenarios just might happen without the Realtor Party. The Realtor Party. It's not the Republican Party or the Democratic Party or even a gala. It's the advocacy arm of the Realtor organization that fights for you and your business. As a Realtor, you are on the front line helping Americans realize the dream of home ownership. You feel the pressure of onerous taxes, government overreach, and regulations that get it wrong. But you are not alone. Through the Realtor Party, we support candidates at home, in the state capitol, and in Washington, D.C., who understand your business needs. They champion our issues so more people can become homeowners. From protecting the mortgage interest deduction, to defeating unreasonable rental restrictions, to supporting balanced growth initiatives, the Realtor Party is there, and the Realtor Party is effective. But we can't do it alone. We need your help to vote, act, and invest in our PAC. Vote, act, invest. 
Supporting the Realtor Party is something we should all talk about. And frankly, something we should all do. No matter where you live, where you live has never mattered more. For over a hundred years, Realtors have brought local knowledge and deep expertise to helping people find new places to dream and thrive. The next great place you'll call home. So whether you're upsizing, downsizing, or just ready to make a change, look for the R. We just got a commitment to be a major investor from Gene Duran. All right. Thank you, Gene Duran. Once you fulfill the commitment, you can stand here with me in front of the camera for the community. Kelly? Thanks, John. <laughs> All right. So, Chip and Josh, you are up. Gapsters, you have control of the board. So, Chip, what is your next question? Let's have quir Quirky for 400, please. Quirky for 400. What was the name of the first atomic bomb? A bomb detonated at White Sands Testing Range in 1945. Ooh, Chip. Big boy. Was it big boy? It was not. Josh? They say they've seen it in the Smithsonian. Is it, is it Fat Boy? Is it Fat Boy? It is not. Oh. It is, is it Trinity, Trinity was the code name for the first nuclear weapon. Oh. Big, we were talking about the ones that were dropped on Hiroshima. Oh, right. right. Okay, Gap is gonna gonna protest outside. All right. Kevin and Eric, come on up. Gap, you still have control of the board. We didn't have a correct answer last time, but. Is that a poop emoji? We'll do a quirky for 300, please. Quirky for 300. Each fall, which New Mexico City hosts a whole enchilada fiesta? Kevin which Hall. New Mexico City loves enchiladas enough? YPN. Las Cruces. Is it Las Cruces? It is. Yes. Las Cruces Woo. annually makes an enchilada meal over 30 feet in diameter, filled with 75 gallons of red chili sauce and 175 pounds of grated cheese. Not to be left out, 50 pounds of chopped onions. Doesn't that sound appetizing, folks? All right, Anika and Keith. Anika, your team now has control of the board. Team YPN, what's your next question? That's who we are for 500. That's who we are for 500. Name the first president of Southwest MLS. All right. <laughs> Who was that first president of Southwest MLS? If you're ever curious, their pictures are on the wall outside here in the GAR building. Do we have somebody who wants to guess? Team Gap or YPN? Somebody ring your buzzer just for the heck of it, please. Thank you, Team YPN. Was it Bob Doyle? <laughs> Bob Doyle! Doyle. Bob Dole, no, he did run for president though one time. All right, Keith. Um, how about um, Hamilton, George Hamilton. George Hamilton, okay. George Hamilton does have a spectacular tan though, if I remember. Jim, right. Jim, Jim Fisher in 1996. All right. All right, so Gavin and Gene. All right, team YPN. Believe it or not, for 600. Believe it or not, for 600. That's the one, that's the one. What country boasts a $1 billion home? $1 billion home, oop, YPN. Brunei. Brunei? Okay, is it Brunei? Mm. No, Jean, for the How about deal. Dubai? Is it Dubai? It is not. Neither of those countries have a billion dollar home, but if you visit India, and she's from India. that is where you will she's find Indian. it. John, have you seen that one billion dollar home? No, I haven't. But I was thinking after this, we 
should go to Las Cruces and eat some enchiladas. I think we should do that. Our PAC is NAR's advocacy, advocacy team that supports candidates that build, build strong communities, protect property rights, and promote a vibrant business environment. We just got a commitment for, to be a major investor from Mike Taylor. <laughs> now let's listen to this from our members. Why did you choose to become an RPAC investor? Because advocacy is important at local, federal, and state levels. I chose to become a major investor because I feel like it's really important to um, put your money where your mouth is. It continues to, uh, you know, put policy in place that continues to allow people to have property rights and that again directly affects the industry and our, the future of our industry. There's always things that come up that we need to be uh, aware of and we need to fight for. Uh, one of them, for example, right now is going to be the fight against transfer taxes. Uh, as the government uh, is, is giving out more and more money, um, they need to replenish that money somehow and they're going to look to generate revenue and, and uh, transfer taxes is one thing that is on the table that we need to be aware of. It's important to our industry and our business. There's so much regulation that influences the way that we do business and the way that our buyers and sellers can purchase properties, sell properties. Being able to contribute to our pack and saying, hey, you know what, we have these concerns, somebody will hear our voice. As I started looking into it, I, I realized how important it is. So as a major investor, you invest $1,000 over a year. Uh, you don't have to be a major investor. All it takes is a $15 donation. And if you have a really great year or a really great transaction, give $50, give $100. It really could be as simple as $15. Your business ideas need room to run wild, but there's no room for error when you're raising the bar. A reliable partner can make a real difference. That's the role of a realtor, an irreplaceable expert who represents your values, a reassuring voice of reason helping you research and reach the right decisions, so you can run your business without running the risk. Is your agent a realtor? Look for the R. Wow, that was great and informative. Kelly, are you ready for the next round? I sure am, John. Chip, Josh, join me at the podium. Oh, Josh. All right, so both teams are neck and neck. Team Gap was conversing and strategizing over our break, so we have YPN at 400 points and Great Gapsters at 200. YPN, you have control of the leaderboard. What is your next question? We're gonna go random for 600. All right, random for 600. Where was the fortune cookie invented? Josh. California. California. U was the US? it California? Yeah, America. Which is located in the United States <laughs> on the western coast. Oh, you're looking for a specific city? In, was uh, there a specific San city? San Francisco? Okay, was it San Francisco? It was! <laughs> So, along with rice a the San Francisco treat, you can also get yourself a fortune cookie. Kevin and Eric, you're up next. All right, Team YPN, you have control of the leaderboard. What is your next question? Random for 500, please. Random for 500. Woo! New Mexico Home Search has 20, a $23 million land listing. Name that county. Eric. Santa Fe. Is it in Santa Fe County? No, mm. it is not. That's not a county. Oddly enough, Kevin for the steal. Colfax County. Is it in Colfax County? Yes. 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 Oh. It is in Colfax oh. County. Market, you too can have a ranch that is 5,955 acres. Keith and Anika, join me at the podium. All right. All right, Anika with Team YPN. Random for 400. Random for 400. What is Scooby Doo's full name? Keith. 
Scooby Dooby Doo. Is it Scooby Dooby Doo? No, it is not, Anika. Scooby Ruby Doo? Is it Scooby Ruby Doo? Oh, no, it is not. <laughs> it is Scooby Doo. Oh. <laughs> so close. I feel like I'm ordering the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity at <laughs> Denny's. Maybe I can tomorrow when they're open. All right. <laughs> Gavin and Jean. Doing too good, team. Okay, come on, come so on. team YPN still has control of the leaderboard. Gavin, pick our next question. We will do uh, Quirky for 600. Quirky for 600. <laughs> World Championship Shovel Races are hosted at what New Mexico resort each winter? Gavin. Red River. Is it Red River? No, it is not. Gene for the steal. Taos, New Mexico. Is it in Taos? No, it is guess, not. Wait, 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 Ruidoso. Angel fire. Angel fire. All right. Angel fire. Let's hear what the answer is. It is Angel oh. Fire. Oh. However, let me remind all teams that you get one guess, not five. We still got it, right? John, have you been shovel racing <laughs> or sledding, or do you shovel anything? What? No. That last round was so exciting. It had so much energy, and Gavin was great. Our pack is the only advocacy group in America that fights on behalf of 75 million homeowners and those who one day aspire to own their own home. We support the American dream. Now let's hear from more of our members. Gabe? Who does our pack support? Our pack believes in policy not politics, and that's why we are the Realtor Party. When I was Heather Wilson's federal political coordinator, she was a Republican and I was a Democrat. Doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican, Libertarian, doesn't matter where they're from, how they, how they feel about other issues necessarily. It's, it's about home ownership and it's about being a realtor champion. We want to be about uh, taking care of homeowners' rights. We don't listen to uh, one side or the other. We listen to both sides and we find out what's more important and what's going to benefit uh, realtors as well as homeowners. It's not about being from this side of the aisle or that side of the aisle. It's all about creating effective policy that's in everyone's best interests. We actually look at what the person uh, is doing in terms of promoting private property rights and home ownership and the like. We selectively choose um, issues that might affect home ownership, or, um, things like that might affect property taxes or um, small businesses being able to flourish in our state. Most policymakers understand this innately because they own their own home. Realtors are a part of their community. And so if, if a policymaker ha hasn't keyed in on that yet, We'll, we'll quickly remind them. There's three things that you can do. You can vote, you can act, and you can invest. Ready to own your first real home? The road to unrenting can get a bit rocky. It takes a reliable partner to right wrong turns. That's the role of a realtor. An expert voice of reason helping you navigate the rigmarole of real estate. A trusted ally who knows and represents your rights. So you get all the right guidance on your journey home. Is your agent a realtor? Look for the R. I want to thank Barbara Maddox for her latest contribution to RPAC. Hey Kelly, did you know that when you become an RPAC contributor, you get a major investor, you get this beautiful jacket that says major investor right on the side. I didn't know that, John. I bet that jacket keeps you warm this winter. Chip, Josh, let's hit off our next question. All right. When we left off for a break, Team YPN still had control of the leaderboard. So Josh, kick us off with the next We're question. We're going to do That's Who We Are for 600. That's Bandit. Who We Are for 600. Bandit. Bandit. How much did the 2019 Guard Charity Golf Tournament earn for the Realtor Fund? Josh. Uh, about $45,000. Was it $45,000? 
No, it was not. Chip for the steal. $75,000. Was it $75,000? It was not. But it was $40,000. Oh, so close, but no cigar. All right, Kevin and Eric, join us at the podium here. All right, Team YPN, you still have control of the leaderboard. Random for 300, please. Random for 300. Henry VIII introduced which tax in England in 1535? Team YPN. Property tax. Is it property tax? No, it is not. Eric, for the steal. T tax. Was it the T tax? It was not. But I will tell you, it was the beard tax. Yes. So, for those of you that have a beard, okay. this have was beard. part of the tax collector's ongoing effort to squeeze an extra groat or two out of the populace. All right, so Anika and Keith. Moving on from the beard tax and other weird fun facts, YPN, you have control of the board. That's who we are for 400. That's who we are for 400. Name the Albuquerque realtor who founded Feed New Mexico Kids. <laughs> All right, who was the founder of Feed New Mexico Kids? Either team can buzz in. No Googling. <laughs> All right, team YPN or? Christine Kennedy. All right, Team Gap. Was it Christine Kennedy? It was not. Okay. Team YPN for the New Mexico Roadrunner? New Mexico Roadrunner. Huh? It was not. <laughs> Good random <laughs> guess, but it was oh, Holly gosh. Slade. Wow. Okay. Who founded oh. Feed New Mexico Kids. Thank you, Holly. All right, Gavin and Jean. All right, so Jean was using one of our member products and scheduling an appointment on showing time, but now her appointment is here at the podium. YPN, you still have control of the board. Uh, we will take the advocate for 600. The advocate for 600. Name the first governor of New Mexico. The very first governor. Jean. Oh. My relative, Francisco Montes de Vigil. Okay, her relative, however she said it, and that is not the right answer. I know. <laughs> Gavin. Uh, Marty Chavez. Was it Marty Chavez just a few years ago? <laughs> Who was the mayor of Albuquerque? No. Marty Chavez was probably not alive in 1912. It was Democrat William Calhoun McDonald who became the first governor of New Mexico. John, have you met the first governor of New Mexico? No, but I sure did like that plug Jean Duran gave to her family. Jean Duran's special. Our pack is not focused on the right, left, or even the middle. It is focused on the issues that matter to existing and future homeowners and the real estate industry. Now let's hear from more of our members. What are some of the things our pack has accomplished and how do they benefit New Mexico realtors? All of us benefit from what RPAC does. And, and what RPAC does is needed by all of us. Just as recently as um, a policy for sick leave, that we all agree sick leave is a great thing. But what was also included in there were things that were really onerous on business owners. If it wasn't for RPAC getting involved with our political parties to go ahead and tell them that we need a cap with these uh, HOAs, I, I felt that that was one of the most important things. At the national level, some of the um, issues that our PAC has worked towards is continuing the flood insurance, um, also the tax credit for any interest paid on a, on a home mortgage. If it wasn't for our PAC hammering on the federal government to include independent contractors in the CARES Act, this pandemic would have been a lot, a lot worse for realtors. We need to have the membership understand just how very important this is and how it will affect them directly if our issues are not taken care of at either the federal or the state level. 
Here at GAR, we are the largest realtor association in the state of New Mexico, and we should continue to be the standard barrier and have 100% participation in our PAC. You can invest in our PAC for as little as $15 per year. I just want to remind all of our members out there, if you want to be part of our PAC or REC PAC, to be part of policy, advocacy, and fundraising, please reach out to me at john.lucero at maddoxrealtors.com. My email's always open. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, John. All right, guys. So did you know that we have a game show veteran in the house? Keith Powell and his wife were on the newlywed game in the early 90s. All right, so Josh and Chip to the podium. All right. So Team YPN, you still have control of the leaderboard. Pick our next question We're going for quirky for 500, please. We're going quirky for 500. Standing on the crest of the Capulin Volcano in Union County, how many states are visible? Chip. Four states. Is it four states? <laughs> it is not four states. YPN for the steal. We're saying three. They're saying three states. Is it three? It is not three. What? It is not. It is five. five. Uh, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, Colorado, and believe it or not, Kansas of all places. Kevin and Eric. Jean wants to know where the Capulon Mountains are, so if somebody can please tap in and let her know, that would be awesome. Kevin and Eric. All right, all right. Showing a little team love before our next question. YPN, you have control of the board. Believe it or not, for 500. Believe it or not, for 500. What famous person entered a contest to find his lookalike and came in third? Kevin. Ernest Hemingway. Was it Ernest Hemingway? No, it was not. For the steal, Team Gap. We're going with Brad Pitt. Was it Brad Pitt? No, it was not, but it was the one and only Charlie Chaplin. Yes, that guy. Anika and Keith are next up to bat here. Team YPN, pick our next question. Believe it or not, for 400. Believe it or not, for 400. Name the richest man in the world who lives in the same home purchased for $31,500 in 1958. Oh, Keith, you rang in too oh. soon, Anika. They are conversing. There's apparently a new person. I hear some discussion. Quickly, what is your answer? Warren Buffett? Is it Warren Buffett? Yeah. It is oh, yeah. Warren Buffett. Yeah. So close, Keith, so close. All right, so YPN now is in the lead with 1,900. We have Jean, who is ready to take Gavin out with his her cane. Gavin is apparently asleep at the wheel. That was the only right. answer I knew. Okay. All right, Gavin. The advocate for 400. The advocate for 400. How many positions are open on the 2021 Gar Board of Directors? 
Gavin. Four. Is it four? No, it's not, but Jean. Three. Is it three? No, it is not three. And I'm on the board of directors. It is six positions. In case you were wondering, four directors, vice president and president elect. John. I protest. Jean protests. What do you think about that? Oh, uh, tell Jean to sit down. Thanks, Yanomoto. <laughs> I just want to let everybody know that our PAC works really hard for all of its members. We advocate for federal policy initiatives that strengthen the ability of Americans to own, buy, and sell real estate. Now let's hear from our members. If we want to be known as the community advocates, we need to put our money where our mouth is. And on that note, I'm going to tell you another way I win listings is with this very expensive piece of jewelry I have on. You will notice this is a Platinum R President Circle Hall of Fame pen. I can get you one too if you stroke enough checks because I put my money where my mouth is. Some of y'all don't participate in RPAC. Your excuses go from I don't like politics to I'm a Democrat. By the way, it's Realtor Party, not Republican Party, you silly, silly people. You say you don't want to read legislation. You don't understand it. You don't have the money. Now, I'm going to tell you something. All of that is a bunch of crap excuses because RPAC is an investment in your real estate business. It is insurance in our industry, and you need to all suck it up. Who in here, who in this room has insurance on their dog or cat? Raise your hand. What's that cost you, $1,000 a year? $800, $600, it's a whole bunch. It's a hell of a lot more than your RPAC fair share. So for shame on y'all wasting money on Starbucks in the hallway when you will not even invest in the industry that allows you to be an entrepreneur making whatever you want to make out of it. Why should everybody participate? We, we hope everybody participates, and we know that's probably unlikely, but we share it. We share the risk. We spread the risk over a large number of people, and then it's a lot easier for all of us to swallow. So do your part. Don't make your neighbor do it for you. This is insurance for your the future of our industry, and it's an investment. It's so much more than um, just a one-time contribution. To continue to uh, have a voice in the process of creating policy that impacts home ownership, um, that's really the biggest goal for our PAC. The money that people invest in our PAC goes to a big pot of money, some of which, about 35, 30 to 35% goes to Washington, but the rest of it stays right here locally. You're investing uh, in the future of real estate and the way that you conduct your business and the way that your clients home ownership rights and private property rights are protected. If you can contribute 15 or $20 and you can up our participation from 24% to 40%, we're gonna be real happy with that, but we'd be even happier with 80%. I'm Belinda Franco and I am the incoming GAR president for 2021 and I challenge all our members to become an investor in our PAC. A $15 donation makes you an investor and I challenge everybody to do that for 2021. Hey, Yanomoto, did you know that you can go to GAR.com or call GAR to become a major investor? And you get this cool jacket and this position right here next to me in front of the camera. Back to you, Yanomoto. Thank you, Lucero. All right, Josh and Chip, you're next up to back in the Realtor Tribute Challenge. We're going to clear out the advocate for 300. All right, let's clear it up. The advocate for 300. How old does a member of the House of Representatives have to be? Josh. 35? Is, is it, it 35? It is oh. not. Chip for the steal. 25. Is it 25? Oh. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right. Eric and Kevin. All right, Team Gap's catching up. Team Gap's going to bring it home here. They're bringing up the tail. All right, Eric. Uh, we'll do, believe it or not, for 300, please. Believe no it chance. or not, for 300. 
Name the first real estate agent recognized by the Guinness World Records for home sales. All right. It was not a local agent or a local broker. Does somebody want to chime in? What do we have? Team YPN or Great Gapsters? Quickly, what do we have? Donald Trump. Was it our president, Donald Trump? It was not for the steal, YPN. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Steve Jobs. Is it Steve Jobs? Because Steve Jobs, before he had Apple, was a avid real estate broker. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is Ben Cubber. So oh, I yeah. can't say it. Ben. Oh, this guy named yeah. Ben yeah. in Dallas, Texas, yeah. sold 3,556 yeah. homes in a single year. Yes, thank you, Jean. All right. Anika and Keith. All right. Gap, you have the leaderboard. Uh, that's who we are for 300. That's who we are for 300. What year was Albuquerque Real Estate Board originally chartered? Ooh, Keith, I think he had the ring in first. I heard him. Yep. 1912. Was it 1912? Mm. It was not. Anika. 1916? Was it 1916, the year that John Lucero was born? No, no it was not. 1921, oh. on July 11th, to be exact. <laughs> I'm not closer, but not exact. All right. I'm not on the list, but Close. Close but not quite. Gavin and Jean, let's give it another oh, shot. All right, Gap, you still have control of the board. Jean, what'll it be? We will go for That's Who We Are 200. That's Who We Are for 200. Name the only Gar Realtor recognized by NAR as a good neighbor. <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> uh, Kevin Mullaney. <laughs> Is it Kevin Mullaney? <laughs> no, it is not. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, I've seen, he's a good neighbor. <laughs> I am a great neighbor. Belinda Franco. Was it Belinda Franco? No, it was not. Whoa. It was Lovey McGee. Lovey. She re received NAR of recognition and an honorable mention Lovey. for her work with the African American Cultural Association. But if you're looking for a good neighborhood, I hear that Kevin is a very nice neighbor to have. Thank you. All right, John, what are you doing? I'm sitting here feeling the pain from that detail about my age. Hey, Kelly, did you know that Keith Powell contributed to our pack? He's one of our contestants right now on the Great Gabsters. Yay, Keith. NER is located steps away from the Capitol, where they advocate for, advocate for federal policy initiatives that strengthen the ability of the Americans to own, buy, and sell real estate. Now let's hear from some of our members. I'm a major investor in RPAC because RPAC advocates for me and our industry. Over the years, I've contributed thousands to RPAC because they support candidates that understand home ownership issues regardless of party affiliation. In the recent months we have dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic, our PAC lobbyists have made sure that Homeland Security included realtors in their essential business list. Governors used that list to deem who was essential. So we were able to continue working. Our PAC made sure that realtors were included as independent contractors for PPP loans in both CARES relief packages. Investing in RPAC every year is included in my business plan because I know I get the best bang for my investment. RPAC is looking out for realtors all over the country every day and they get things done that matter to our industry. I'm dedicated to investing in RPAC and I won't stop giving because the American dream is worth fighting for. It seems like every other day there is a political brouhaha going on, especially in a presidential election year. Well, the thing you have to know is that we have to support the Realtor Party no matter who is on the ticket. Our PAC stands for the Realtor Political Action Committee, not the Republicans, not the Democrats. We are 52-48, both sides of the aisle. And most of what we are working on is related to issues. 
We have been fighting for flood insurance reform. We've been fighting to protect Fannie and Freddie so that all homeowners don't have to do 20% down unless they choose to. Right now, we are fighting to keep the 1031 tax exchange intact because that is critical to our commercial health. Y'all, this is your industry. This is your insurance and protecting it from people on the local, state, and federal level that will pick your pockets as fast as they possibly can. In fact, politicians count on realtors being fractured and splintered because we're independent contractors. Instead, why don't you invest in our PAC today, be part of the solution, and if you want to make sure that the PAC says what you want them to say, volunteer on your governmental affairs committee and let us know what you think because all realtors matter and private properties are one of the most important foundations of American life. Hey, Alex Liu, are you out there? I'm challenging you to go to GAR.com and contribute to our pack. If anybody knows Alex, text him right now. Yanomoto, back to you. Thanks, John. All right, we have Team YPN with 1,900 points and the Great Gapsters with 500 points, but there's still time for you guys to catch up. Josh, Chip, join us at the podium. All right, Chip. All right. Josh. Gapsters, I think you guys had control of the leaderboard when we went to commercial break. Pick your next question. Quir quirky for 200, please. Quirky for 200. Which New Mexico City has the most historic buildings listed in the National Registry? Josh. Santa Fe. Is it Santa Fe? Oh, Chip, what do you think? Which New Mexico City or Team Gap? Any suggestions? Las Cruces. Is it Las Cruces? It is not. It is Las Vegas, Vegas New Mexico with 900 buildings in nine historic districts. All right, Kevin, Eric, join us at the podium. All right, Eric, select our next question. We'll do random for 200, please. Random for 200. What did the original acronym NAOP stand for? What did that acronym stand for? What do we think? Team YPN. National Association. Indian International House of Pancakes. Is it the International House of Pancakes? It is not. But Eric, do you want to give it a shot? Was that close? All right, Team Gap. What do we have? National Association of Independent something something. Independent something something. <laughs> National Association for Industrial and Office Parks. So oh close. yeah. That so was close. Was Both was teams. And Anika and Keith are next up to bat in our Realtor Trivia Challenge. All right, Keith, lead us off. Believe it or not, for 200. Believe it or not, for 200. The average person does what? 13 times a day. <laughs> Team YPN. Go to the bathroom? Is it go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin says that seems like a lot. <laughs> check, that. check their emails. Is it check their email? <laughs> it is not. What are you doing 13 <laughs> times a day? You're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh way more than that. What is John Lucero doing 13 times a day? I don't know, but we'll find out soon. Gavin up, and Gavin. Gene. Come on, Gavin. Let's All go. Right. Let's go. Bring it home. All right. I'm going to bring it home. All right. I'm going to Google it. All right. Gene, pick your question. Quirky 100. Quirky 400. It is against the law to dance wearing what object in New Mexico? Team YPN. Uh, nothing at all. Not wearing anything at all. Okay, that's illegal. That okay, illegal. that might be illegal and frightening, but that is not the right answer. We definitely don't want to see that. All right, Team Gap. It's either a gun or a hat. Okay, you get one at one choice. <laughs> a hat. A hat. What kind of hat, Gene? Cowboy hat. Oh. All right. 
So make sure you wear your clothes and don't dance around that sombrero next time you're having a party. John? Hey, Kelly, I'd rather laugh 13 times a day than go to the bathroom like Anika. <laughs> NAR advocates on behalf of realtors to foster a sound and dynamic U.S. real estate market that creates vibrant communities in which to live and work. Now let's hear from more of our members. Hi, I'm Pete Koff, NAR's Realtor Party Director, and in this week's Pivot in Place series, we're going to talk about the importance of getting out to vote this November. This year, it's going to be a challenge to vote. The pandemic has made it challenging in so many ways, but the opportunity to vote is not a challenge. The opportunity to vote is a privilege. It's never been more important to be an informed voter. We have to vote on the facts because the facts will help us put the right people in a place to build stronger communities. What's gonna be the most important thing for your family, for your friends, for your future and your business, that's who you vote for. That's the importance of being informed. There's so much information out there and we have the opportunity to not only encourage them to vote, but to help them feel comfortable voting safely. The key message when it comes to voter safety this year is truly to make a plan. The situation is so fluid that we need to be prepared to make sure we're ready to vote come election day. If voting in person is an option where you live, make sure you're following the CDC and state guidelines to ensure your safety. If you're gonna mail in your ballot, then make sure you're making a plan to do that as soon as possible because the November election is right around the corner. You know, Realtors are great leaders in their communities and we lead by example. We know the importance of being involved and that involvement creates better places to work, live and call home. Our Realtors get involved in so many things. Being involved in the election is a great way to be involved in our community, whether you're an election judge or a poll volunteer. This is a time to be engaged and if you feel comfortable doing so, it's another opportunity to show why Realtors are leaders, why they give back and why they feel obligated to continue to create strong communities throughout the country. As Realtors, I encourage all of you to get the message out throughout our community to our friends, our families, our loved ones. Stay healthy, be safe, and get out and vote. everybody for joining us today. We had a great time with our Realtor Trivia Challenge and we hope that you made your contributions to our pack today. I'm here with our winning team for our third round, Team Wifeman. But unfortunately, don't get too excited guys because it wasn't enough to win our tournament today. Champions today are the major investor team and then coming in second is winning with White Kurt. Thanks again, everybody, for participating, and thank you for making your contributions. John. I want to th say thank you one more time to Kent Cravens, Tigo Venturi, Belinda Franco, and Sherry Fowler for be becoming major investors today, and from the commitments from Mike Taylor and Gene Duran to become major investors. Just because this game's over doesn't mean you can't contribute to RPAC anymore. Just go to gar.com and contribute today. Bye. Why did you choose to become an RPAC investor? Because advocacy is important at local, federal, and state levels. I chose to become a major investor because I feel like it's really important to um, put your money where your mouth is. It continues to, uh, you know, put policy in place that continues to allow people to have property rights and that again directly affects the industry and our, the future of our industry. There's always things that come up that we need to be uh, aware of and we need to fight for. Uh, one of them, for example, right now is going to be the fight against transfer taxes. Uh, as the government uh, is, is giving out more and more money, 
um, they need to replenish that money somehow and they're going to look to generate revenue and, and uh, transfer taxes is one thing that is on the table that we need to be aware of. It's important to our industry and our business. There's so much regulation that influences the way that we do business and the way that our buyers and sellers can purchase properties, sell properties. Being able to contribute to our pack and saying, hey, you know what, we have these concerns, somebody will hear our voice. As I started looking into it, I, I realized how important it is. So as a major investor, you invest $1,000 over a year. Uh, you don't have to be a major investor. All it takes is a $15 donation. And if you have a really great year or a really great transaction, give $50, give $100. It really could be as simple as $15. Can we talk? Can we just get real and talk? Imagine a world where you couldn't post a for sale sign in a client's yard. Or suppose your independent contractor status was jeopardized and you are required to punch a clock at your broker's office. Or what if Congress abolished the mortgage interest deduction? How would it affect your business? Look, they say avoid talking politics at parties, but these scenarios just might happen without the real tour party. The Realtor Party. It's not the Republican Party or the Democratic Party or even a gala. It's the advocacy arm of the Realtor organization that fights for you and your business. As a Realtor, you are on the front line helping Americans realize the dream of home ownership. You feel the pressure of onerous taxes, government overreach, and regulations that get it wrong. But you are not alone. Through the Realtor Party, we support candidates at home, in the state capitol, and in Washington, D.C., who understand your business needs. They champion our issues so more people can become homeowners. From protecting the mortgage interest deduction, to defeating unreasonable rental restrictions, to supporting balanced growth initiatives, the Realtor Party is there, and the Realtor Party is effective. But we can't do it alone. We need your help to vote, act, and invest in our pack. Vote, act, invest. Supporting the Realtor Party is something we should all talk about, and frankly, something we should all do.